So now that we have the character ready, we're going to play a bit with the clothes and see how we can add the clothes on our character. Right now, it already has some clothes, but we can add some more accessories on it to make it a little bit more fancy. So if we go to the project window in here, we can see that we have this tom folder in here and we have this folder structure and then in here we have the character part and in here we can find a folder named clothes and accessories so if you open that up we can see this folder structure in here and basically what we're going to do we're going to import images from our project inside these folders and then place them in the correct compositions to build up our our clothes let's start with a bow tie for instance so we're going to go to accessories find the folder named bow ties and from there we can open the folder and as you can see there is nothing in the folder right now so we will need to import a, an image now with the toolkit we have included a large library of character assets so if we double click on characters in here we can go to character assets and from here we can go to clothes and we can find the bow ties right over here so if we jump in this we can find two folders one is preview and one is vector I'm going to enter inside the preview to see which one I would like to choose. So I like 08 in here or maybe 07. So let's see, 07 bow tie. I'm going to go back, go to vector and import that. Pick it and place it right inside the bow tie folder inside of your After Effects. So now this bow tie will go on the shirt. So let's open in here this folder, jackets and shirts. And in here you can see that you have two fold, two compositions. I'm going to position this right on top, so I'm going to position it in the jacket composition. So that if I add a jacket, it can go out from the jacket. So I'm going to make this fit up to 100% and I'm going to see the transparency to, so that I see what I am doing. And simply what we're going to do is simply drag and drop this bow tie inside this composition. Now, if we go to character 02 in here, you can see that the bow tie is very very large in here what we need to do is we need to adjust this so that it fits correctly our character we're going to scale this quite down to 10 percent maybe position it right up in here and let's see how that looks once again by going to the character now as you can see it is not visible that might be because we need to put it a little bit down so Let's move it a little bit down and see, as you can see, it is showing just a little bit in there. So we need to move it more down, go back to jacket and place it around here. I think this could work correctly. Let's go back to jacket now and I can increase it a bit in size, maybe to 20% and let's see it once again. And that's very nice. I'm going to position it a little bit higher and even make it like 30. So it would be nice and big. Now in this case, as you can see, it is being cut by the torso in here. Now, if you, you don't want that to be cut by the torso, instead of placing it inside the jacket composition, you can place it inside the accessories composition. And here you have scarf and accessories. Open that up. And if we double click on that, scarf and accessories, we can see this new composition. So copy, control C, and paste in here. Let's move it to the middle once again. And let's remove it from here now. So if we jump to this scarf and we jump here, we can rearrange it once again. And as you can see now, it is getting out of the, outside the torso with, without a problem. So if you would like it to pop up a little bit out from the torso, simply place it inside the inside this composition, inside the scarf and accessories. So that's it for the bow tie. Now what we can do is we can give it a color as well. So to give it a color, simply go to effects and presets in here, type in tint and simply find this effect named tint and drop it on the, on the bow tie. And now for the black, you can simply pick any color. So Let's give it that orange color. So I'm going to get the color code for that and paste it in here. And there we have it. One quick option here inside the scarf and accessories is that in here you can add wind. So if we click this on, we play a little bit the animation. You can see that now we have this nice wind animation here happening as you can see. So let's check that out. So this is available inside the scarf and accessories for you to use with scarves, etc.
So I'm going to remove the wind for now, close this scarf and accessories, and go back to the character studio. Actually, if it's violet, I think it would look a little bit better. Purple. So uh, let's let's open back scarf and accessories. I'm going to get the color code for the violet, for the purple, and uh, paste it in there. Okay. And if we go back, we can see that updating right in there. Very, very nice. Let's go back to the project. So here we have belts. Let's add a belt. So double click on the belt composition. By default, if we make this fit up to 100%, we can see that inside the belt composition, we already have two, two images. So here's the belt, and here's the trouser belt straps. So if you'd like the trouser belt straps, simply leave them on. If you don't like them, remove them, just like that. You can also import new new belts, just the same way as we did before. So I'm going to go to clothes, go to belts. I'm going to go to belts preview. Um, I'm going to view them very quickly in here, see what we have. So let's say I like this one. This is belt 04. So let's go back, go to belts vector. And from 04, we can import that right inside the belts folder. And now uh, a small trick, if you already have the image in here and you want to keep its position, what you can do is simply hold Alt on your keyboard while the la both layers are selected and simply drag the new one on it. And as you can see, it switches with that immediately. This takes the tint effect immediately from it. I'm going to give this the orange now. Paste it in there. And if we go back, we can see that now we have the, the belt with that orange buckle. Now, let's add some uh, trouser straps. So I'm going to add the trouser straps inside the shirt composition. Go in here, we have the shirt. I can open that up. We can place those maybe under size and the ones actually, let's see. So let's go to clothes and let's find accessories. Let's go to accessories preview. And we can pick up these trouser straps from here. So as you can see, this is how they look. So let's now go to the vector and pick up the trouser straps. And I'm simply going to place them inside the accessories folder in here. And then drag and drop them inside the shirt composition. So like this, you can build any clothes that you, that you want, as you can see. Let's check this out. We need it to be a little bit longer, so we're going to increase its size. It's very good. Maybe a little bit less. Just a little bit more. 55 maybe. And there we have it. Very nice. So if we go in here, now we can give it a color as well. So drag a tint effect on it. From the effect control, simply pick from the black color, pick any color that you would like. I'm going to use uh, the purple color. Press OK. And if we go back to the character studio, we can see that that updated with the purple color. Now, finally, I'm going to add a jacket. So the jacket, of course, would be placed inside the jacket composition. You can find it from right here. So under jackets and shirts, once again, let's jump back to our folder in here. Go to clothes, jackets, and if you go to the preview, we can select a jacket that we like. Now, only mind this middle part in here, how it will look. So let's see. I think I like this one. That's 18. So I can go to the Jackets vectors in here and import the 18 jacket. Simply drag and drop it. Press S4 scale on your keyboard and scale it down and fit it on your character. So let's see how this looks. This is quite large. So let's reduce it in size. Of course, the fit would vary depending on your torso size, etc. So I want it to be not over the belt. I want it to be a little bit more up. Let's 
it is quite good maybe a little bit less so let's make it to 45 maybe and this is good so i'm going to give this the color of the shirt then change the shirt color to something else so drag and drop a tint on it change the black color to that now if i go back in here i can see that everything is in this color of course but if we change the shirt color we can open that up open the torso open the shirt and let's turn this to a nice yellow actually let's use the yellow of the of the socks in here so we can we can zoom up on them and use this yellow finally let's add some pockets on this on this jacket and maybe some buttons so if we go to the jacket composition go to project go to our folder in here go to clothes buttons and zippers go to a preview and I like these one zero six buttons so I'm going to go to the vector and import those wait for it to load and drag them right over the jacket press s4 scale to scale them down and I'm going to place them over the jacket in here put a tint on that and let's give them the, the yellow color that we had before and there it is and if we go back now we can see the buttons and finally let's add a pocket right over here let's go back to jacket from here we can go to clothes go to pockets pockets preview and see something that i like i like this one pocket 21 so from vector let's go jump to the project window in here and of course it is best to organize these inside the folders in here so that you have everything organized there it is i'm going to drag it, drag it inside this jacket composition press s4 scale and you can place it wherever you like even rotate click r on your keyboard and we can give it a color maybe we can give it the same color but a little bit darker so now i'm quite satisfied with the look if i go back in here as you can see it's quite nice you can of course continue adding more clothes you can even add different accessories like earphones necklaces etc and even like add different things on the on the legs one last thing that we're going to add is we're going to add a watch on his on his arms now for the arms we have a specific place where we can add basically arm accessories we have a composition named arm accessories suite if we enter into that we can see that we have this control layer and from it we can design our own accessories let's create a watch that we like from this one so this is something that i like I'm going to pick the color of the shirt or let's pick the color of the sleeves maybe so press, press ok and you can tweak the colors like this so let's maybe pick the color the orange color like that maybe pick the yellow color for this part of course there are a lot of different options from here you can select anything that you like from here I'm going to select this watch and let's close these compositions for now and if we go back to the character studio in here we want to place it on this hand on this right hand in here so if we go to the project window we can go to character parts go to arms find the right arm open that up find the right arm from here simply double click on it as you can see from here you can see that that is already loaded up the arm accessories inside inside here simply turn that on press s4 scale now we can close this close arm accessories and if we go in here we can see that the watch is loaded on its hand so that's it for the clothes go ahead and experiment with it and make your own clothes 
you can use all those accessories to build up whatever you like inside, inside the toolkit.